Welcome to today's broadcast. God bless you. We have entered into perilous time, as the Bible said. But the Bible told us about perilous time that is coming upon the world. And I discover that now we have entered into that perilous time. But I want to ask question, has the Lord changed his mind? Has the Lord changed his word? Is, will there not be any judgment anymore on the last day? Because the way we overemphasize blessings and grace and favor of God, sometimes we begin to imagine, is there no more judgment? Is God not going to judge the world anymore? Help me touch the subscribe button and the, click the follow button, depending on the platform you are watching, so that you will be receiving all my updates. And also, I encourage you to share this video, share this message to people so that you, we will join hands together to save lives. God bless you. Everywhere we go these days, we are being carried away with the gospel of prosperity. We are carried away with the gospel of favor. We are carried away with the gospel of testimony. We are carried away with the gospel of abundance. I know that all these things God will give to us. But I want to ask a question. Has the Lord changed his mind? Has the Lord changed his mind concerning what he said in the Bible? Because the Bible makes us to understand that every one of us will stand at this judgment seat of Christ on the last day to receive our reward. Everything we do in this life, we will stand before God to receive the reward. Has the Lord changed his mind? Has the Lord changed his mind? I discovered that this end time, hardly to hear the message on rapture anymore. Rapture message is no longer preached. Salvation message, people don't like it anymore. Hmm? Repentance, people don't want to hear that word anymore. You must be born again. No, people don't want it again. Those major, major message that our ancient fathers used to hammer on those major major messages that our ancient father used to preach ancient preachers used to preach used to preach used to preach is like this end time they uh, they have packed the whole message and drop it inside gutter or they put it inside bush because that message those that kind of message is no longer selling this our days and everybody is looking for what is raining what is selling what will attract crowd as if crowd is the reason why god called us I want to ask question, has the Lord changed his mind? Has the scripture changed? Will there no longer be judgment? Is there no longer judgment day the Lord set out for every man upon the earth? And I discovered there is. You remember the people that followed Jesus, the disciples of Jesus that followed him, they did not follow him based on miracle. They did not follow Jesus based on testimony. They did not follow him based on signs and wonders. They followed him based on one particular thing. In the book of John Gospel, chapter 6, the Gospel of John, chapter 6, from verse 68 to 70, the Bible said that when Jesus turned to his disciples, after crowd had, many of them had left Jesus, he turned to the twelve and said, Won't you join them? But one man called Peter stood up and said, To whom shall we go to? For you are the one that have the word of eternal life. For you are the one that have the word of eternal life. So these people, they are stick to Jesus. They continue following Jesus. They are, they are, they are, they are, they are followership. They are, they are following Jesus does not uh, uh, end up in the material things. It's not because of material things they will get in return. They say you are the one that have the word of eternal life. So all these people, they continue following Jesus. They are following Jesus not because of one thing or the other, not because of material things, not because of favor, not because of money, not because of wealth, not because of riches, not because of all these things that, that, that we think that is the major reason of following Christ. And Jesus asked them that question, but that brother answered well. I want you to know there will be a day of judgment. I want you to know there will be a day of judgment that everyone will stand before this judgment seat of Christ. You will stand there on that day. You, you will stand there. Don't forget you will stand. I call it the day of vanity, the day of nothing, the day of tension, the day of anxiety. 
Because Bible says, woe to them that desire the day of the Lord. Because the day of the Lord is not the day that people will be eating, eating and drinking and celebrating and calling party. The way we think, as we call it the day of the Lord, is a day that everybody will eat and rejoice and dance. But Bible says, woe to he that desire the day of the Lord. We are being carried away. The generation are being carried away. As if God has changed his word. As if God has changed his mind. Look at these days. Everybody trying to excel. You see confusion everywhere. Confusion everywhere. Native doctors are now coming to tell you that their power is greater than God's power. Satan has mobilized many people to come and deceive you and to deceive us if care is not taken. And that is why we must come back to the truth of the gospel. And we must come to lay hold on that that matters most. Not be carried away with the peripheries of the world. Not to be carried away with the things of this life that will not last. Will the Lord not judge the world anymore? The God Almighty that judged Sodom and Gomorrah and consumed them all, will he not also judge this present time? God that did not pity the day, the, the generation uh, or the world of Noah. God did not, that did not pity the world of Noah in those days. God Almighty sent, sent, sent flood and the flood destroyed everything. Has that God changed his mind? No, he never changed his mind. He never changed his mind. The Bible said that the depression of the Lord does not mean that the Lord is weak. But the Lord is giving us opportunity. Not willing that any one of us will perish. That is why God is keeping quiet. We do everything. But God is keeping quiet. But don't forget. Don't forget that this God that is keep on blessing us today. This God that we are trusting to favor us. This God we are praying to and shouting and calling his name. There is a day he will judge us. The same God that is blessing us now, showering his blessing to us. The same God that is showing our vision now. The same God that is speaking to us now. We are prophesying in his name. People are falling down and rising up. There, there is a day the same God will judge us. And Jesus said that many people will say, Lord, Lord, I preach in your name. I do this one. I do this one in your name. I do this. I cast out devil in your name. I heal in your name. But you say, go behind me. You walk us up in the I don't know you. The Lord will judge us. God will judge us. Don't forget that one. The Lord will judge us. There is a day of judgment coming. That day will be terrible. That day will be terrible. The day of judgment that is coming is a terrible day. You don't like to experience that day. That day is coming. And I pray for you. You will live a good life. Don't be carried away. The Lord will still judge people. Live a holy life. Serve the Lord in spirit and in truth. And your reward in heaven shall be great. In the name of Jesus. I pray for you that whatsoever that is bringing problem to your life, whatsoever that is taking away your joy and your peace, in the name of Jesus, Son of the living God, I stretch forth my hands. I pray for you right now. Receive divine intervention in Jesus' name. Receive divine intervention in the name of Jesus. May the Lord God Almighty come for your rescue. In the name of Jesus. Every area of your concern, every area you are believing God, I pray for you now, receive divine intervention in the name of Jesus. Receive divine intervention in the name of Jesus. May the blessings of God rest upon you. Don't forget, if you are a child of God, share this message. Forward it to many people. Forward it to your friends. Forward it to all your contacts so that we can join hands to save life. Don't forget to drop your own suggestion. I love you. God bless you. And see you next time.